All right, guys, so today we're going to hook you guys up with what we use in our IBC tote to make compost teas. A lot of you guys have been asking. Here's the video for you. It's going to be short, sweet, simple. Maybe have to break it down into two or three parts if it's on YouTube shorts. But for TikTok and Instagram, you guys are going to be able to watch one video all the way through. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, my extreme gardening tea bag here. Extreme gardening tea bag. And the, in the drink it goes. Then we have this right here, which is the activator, the yeast or whatever you want to call it. We're going to pour it in. This is also from Extreme Gardening. Get that brewing immediately, all right? Next thing we're going to do, we have compost tea from Malibu Compost. Really love their stuff, and I have really done well mixing these two together. They complement each other very well. In the drink it goes. I've done them separately and I've done them together and they complement each other very, very well. I like the results I get from using both of them together. So there's that. Now, we have Agro, Thi Agro Thrive Organic Fertilizer here. This is the fruit and flower liquid fertilizer and uh, makes up to 64 gallons. We're just gonna pour a glug in there you're not you're not overdoing anything guys all right and that right there we'll go ahead and tell you about this stuff in a different video i'll make a separate video and tell you about agro thrive i like what i'm getting out of the out of the agro thrive guys I really do next thing we have prevagenics pure humic acid all right we're going to dump the entire bottle into this right here We're going to dump two bottles of Prevagenics liquid compost in here. Two bottles of this. All right, got some fulvic acid here. Dump what was left of that one in there. More fulvic acid. All we put in there is this. All right, now here is Extreme Gardening Azos and Mycos wettable powder. All right, and it is a total of 36 ounces between the two of them. Now, we're just gonna let that brew for about an hour to two, maybe even a little bit longer, depending on how busy I get. I'm gonna go out and work in the garden, let this brew. My timer is set for 30 minutes on, an hour off, so it'll brew for 30 minutes and it'll shut off for an hour and it'll brew for 30 minutes. All right, guys. So this right here is going to do all the work for me. I don't have to pay no mind to it. I can go walk away and let it brew, do its thing. We'll come back after a while. We're going to spray this all over our giant pumpkins. All right. This is what I use for the giant pumpkin plants. So hope this was a good video for you guys. Hope you guys uh, understand why we do this, why I make compost tea and put what I do in there. And, uh, using all my pumpkin plants. We're pretty successful with it. See you guys.